Hi hey everyone, Jero Lights here. In this video, we're going to talk about that business practice that separates Zippo from the competition, and that is its lifetime guarantee. It works or we fix it for free. In this video, I have several Zippos that are in dire need of repair. I'm going to show you how to send these off to Zippo. We're going to send them off to Zippo, and we are going to get them back and review what they did to them. So you're not going to want to miss this one. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to j -Ray Lights. Before we get into the process, let's look at our Zippos. Here we have a 1994. This is a replica vintage look. And the issue with this one is it just isn't clicking. A lot of times it has to do with this cam. Usually the cam is loose or it's sticking but I've swapped this insert out several times with brand new inserts and it still just doesn't click right. We're going to hopefully get that click back into that Zippo. Next one is we have a Zippo with no top. It is a 98 and it just doesn't have a top. I'm not sure what happened, but it doesn't have a top to it. The next one, we have a 2002 and this one, the whole hinge is off. Now we have the top and the hinges just come out. How they are going to replace this hinge, maybe they'll, I mean, the, the hinge doesn't look too bad. Uh, so really curious on how they will repair this one. And then what I'm most excited about is this is a 1953-1954 Steely. So this is a steel Zippo. The hinge is pretty much gone on this one. You can see it's extremely loose. Uh, it's even loose inside. The It's almost, uh, I mean, I can probably pull this out right now. It's so loose. Um, I know this may be controversial with some of y'all as why I'm having a steely repaired, but it's a different type of material. Those are what we will be sending in. We are sending them in two separate packages. Zippo recommends that you send one or two Zippos at a time. We're going to honor that. Uh, Zippo offers this uh, lifetime guarantee as a courtesy, and it's that's how it's always been. I don't want to abuse that system. I want to treat it right and treat it with respect, and I hope y'all do too. So we are going to abide by the rules. Uh, so coming up is the process. So let's talk about that process of how to send your Zippos in. Now we'll go to Zippo.com to pull up the form to send in our Zippos. If you live outside of the U.S., you will need to go to your specific country Zippo website, whether it's Zippo.ca, Zippo.uk, Zippo.de for Germany, Zippo.fr for France, and send it to the location provided on that website. Also remember, different countries may have different regulations when shipping Zippos. So we will scroll all the way to the bottom where it says contact us. We'll click contact us and then we'll go to repairs. Not all of Zippo products are covered with that lifetime guarantee. Just the windproof lighters. Zippo offers many, many products, some of which aren't covered. In this case, we are sending windproof lighters, so we will select windproof lighter. We'll scroll down to the steps to ship and uh, under that first step, we will click under that first step, we will click go to repair form. So we'll go to that repair form. Zippo has it extremely easy for you to complete this repair form on Zippo.com. So what we're going to do is type in our information. We're going to select what product we're sending in. We're sending in windproof lighters. This form has great information if you're sending products other than that windproof lighter. We're going to select the issues that are wrong with these Zippos. Now it is key to note that Zippo does not cover the design and finish of that lighter. They don't repair the inserts. The inserts will be replaced and the original insert will not be returned unless specified otherwise. We want the original insert back. So what we're going to write in this comment section is, please replace insert and send back original inserts. And we'll just be nice and put thanks. We'll print this paper. We'll put it in our package. 
They cannot track or prevent damage to multiple items sent for repair. So they recommend sending one to two lighters a package. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Sending two packages with two lighters per package. I know some collectors may send more. I'm not sure how Zippo will send us our Zippos back. Maybe they'll send it in two packages. Maybe they'll just combine them all. That's what I'm thinking. They'll probably combine them all and ship them all in one package. But honoring what they ask us, uh, that's what we're doing. Sending two packages with two lighters per. And then the address to send in that package is below. Zippo Repair Clinic, 1932 Zippo Drive. If you know the significance of that number, let me know in the comments. Bradford, PA, 16701. So that's all you need to do if you are doing that classic windproof lighter. If you're sending any other products in, follow the instructions on this repair form. Now let's go get our packages ready. All right, so first one, here's that 1937 one. We're, I'm going to send this without the insert. That way we can see what they do. And also, if they can fix that Zippo click. Next one, we'll send the one that was broken. We have the hinge uh, in here with the top. Package number two, we're going to have this Zippo that does not have a lid. And the last one we're going to send is our steel case. Hinge is extremely loose. Insert's pretty beat up. The best way to ship things and ship Zippos uh, that I have found is PirateShip.com. If I went to the post office, this would be like five bucks to ship. With Pirate Ship, this was $3.48 to send this. Uh, I'll be putting these in my box and shipping these out to that address that they gave us. All right, we got our Zippos back. I sent these off. I made the first video on September 7th. Shipped them off on the 8th. Today's the 29th, so it took about 21 days for me to get these Zippos back, about three weeks. They do ask on their website to let them have four to six weeks, but they did, did a great job at getting them back. I did receive a couple emails. I received an email when they were received, and I received an email when the repairs were done and sent back. So we'll start with the first one, that vintage look. This one, the issue we were having with this one is the Zippo Click. They always put orange stickers and also the repair label on these Zippos. There it is. You hear the click. And also, I did send this Zippo in without an insert. It looks like they gave me a 2018 insert. Can't really see if, see if they replaced anything. Kind of does look like a new hinge. It's a little shinier than what it was when we sent it in. Sounds great. Has that Zippo click. For the ones we sent in inserts, uh, inserts with, we did ask to receive those back. The issue with this one was it the hinge was off. It just it, it was completely off. The top was separated from the bottom. Sounds great. And they put in a new insert as well. 2021. This next one was set in without a lid. I didn't have a lid for this one. And you can see that it, they just put a brand new lid on it. It's a really nice looking high polished lid. I was wondering if they would do that or just send us an entire new Zippo. I've heard that they've sent uh, brand new Zippos to uh, ones that were beyond repair. You can also tell the weld marks are off. But this is a brand new top. They put in a brand new insert, 2020. Sounds great. And now we have our steel Zippo. If you recall, the issue was the hinge was about to fall off. Uh, it was extremely loose. But now it sound, sounds great. Let's see if we can see what they did. 
Looks like the uh, hinge is all original. They just probably just put in a new pin, tightened it up a bit. And then they put in that new insert, 2020. See how it sounds with the original insert. So, I guess the insert kind of makes it a little loose. So, the insert might have been the issue as well for the Zippo. Still a li little loose, but it is making that click noise. That famous Zippo click. That is our Zippo repair. That is how you can send your Zippos in for repair. But if you do live in the United States, it's that simple. It takes about three weeks. You fill out the form. You ship your Zippos off. You get them back. And they're just like brand new. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. This is J-Ray Lights. We'll see you on the next one.